Okay, folks, we're just going to go through an install for the new Commerce Guru's success WordPress theme. I'm going to assume you've got WordPress set up and running, so let's get on with it. So the first thing you need to do is go into Themes, which is in Appearance, Add New. Hit the Upload Theme button, hit Browse. And then I've downloaded the zip package that you've just bought on Theme Forest and open up the main success underscore package dot zip folder and you'll see within theme install you'll see a success dot zip file so that's the file you want to upload you can see it's 1.7 megabytes so just make sure that your servers upload restrictions are at least two megabytes to allow that file to upload it should only take depending on your connection it should only take a few moments hopefully then click activate and now success is activated. You can see currently as we stand, we're at 1.01. So the very next thing we need to do is install a few plugins, which are all optional, but are recommended. So I'm just going to, for the purpose of brevity, hit install. Again, it should only take a few moments. So they're all installed and I'll just go back and now I'll activate all plugins. So now we've installed and activated all the plugins that we recommend. We can proceed with, sometimes you'll see this splash notice come up from some plugins like Visual Composer. Just ignore it. Let's go ahead and just import our demo data. So this should, again should only take a few seconds sometimes this can take a lot of time with some themes it's very very quick for success that's it all done now if i go back to the front we'll see that we're nearly there you can see that we've installed our menus have come in the home page content that you see all the various different pages that you'll see in the main theme demo they've now been installed you can see that we've replaced our copyrighted images with gray placeholder images, complete with the dimensions that you should use. Um, if I go back to the home page, you'll see there's one last thing we need to do, which is that we're missing layer slider. So that's a separate install. And again, very straightforward to do. Go to layer slider. Uh, I'll hide this message from beta. No need to sign up for that. And don't click this guy. Import sample size is not what you want. You want to go down here to import export, hit browse. And again, in the main package, you'll find a demo data folder. Inside, you'll see a layer slider folder. And double click the zip and hit import. And again, shouldn't take that long. You'll see now we have our homepage slider. I'll go back to the and click refresh. You'll see our slider. Our layer slider is now imported. That's it. It's as simple as that to complete the install process. You can see it's very, very quick. Um, should only take you a few minutes. If it takes any longer than that, generally it tends to be problems with your upload restrictions. Um, if you need further help, uh, feel free to raise a support ticket which you can do from um, support at commercegurus.com or via the support tab on Team Forest. Uh, just while we're here, seeing the install completed so quickly, let me show you some key things in the theme. So for example our about us page which is here. If we go back and edit that page you can see our title, our secondary title is a custom field, which is what appears here. The page title here, which is distinct from the main slug. If this is blank, it'll load this title here. It gives you the option of having a secondary title, which is quite useful, I think, for pages like this. And then finally, the heading text to work with us today. Which is what's loaded here. So effectively, this is your option of having a very simple call to action on this page. So really, really straightforward. Just control the top of the page. Then you'll see we have other 
controls here to control the gradients. So you can see there's a lovely gradient effect here, which is set with these two color values here. And then the option to switch all this off, you hit hide and save, it'll just hide this whole part of the page. And it'll start loading content from here. And you can see our content is controlled using Visual Composer. It's quite extensive tutorials on how to use Visual, Com Visual Composer elsewhere on the web, so I won't tell them too much today. Um, but it does make controlling and updating pages such as these very, very straightforward and simple. See if I click the edit button, it loads the editor. Um, and you can quickly edit. Again, if you're not sure how that text is that color, you can just pop into the text. And you can see we're using some simple CSS, inline CSS to create the styling for some elements on the page. And the other thing you'll notice is that this is using the full width page template. So we don't have any sidebars on this page. And that's because we're using the full width template. You can see there's also the default, which loads a sidebar. Uh, homepage, which you'll only use on your homepage. And WooCommerce full width, which is for any, if you're choosing to use WooCommerce, which success is fully compatible with, you would choose to use that for your WooCommerce pages. Again, if you import the demo data, all of this is done for you. So it's very straightforward. Um, just to skip down to the theme options, Theme options are here, and they let you control various elements of the theme. So you can switch from a fixed width, boxed width, to a full width. You can switch responsive on or off. You can switch off the page preload, which can be quite useful to do if your host is particularly slow. Um, background images with get set if you're using a boxed width. You can see in the colors tab, we have quite a lot of control over various colors that you can set throughout the theme. You can choose to use the skin. We preload some particular skin types, in which case these are not required to be set. The default is no skin, and then we've got granular control over all the various different color controls. Uh, your logo. So you basically upload your logo here, and you set your height and padding. So there's a lot of control that you can set about how your logo appears on the theme. Our header settings, right now we just have one layout, probably add some additionals in the future, and you can switch off the sticky menu and search, which are these guys here. Main menu settings will give you a lot of control over typography for the main menu. And you also get right down to colors for drop downs, etc. Our page options allow you to design, assign alignment for the heading, content width, a top margin, bottom margin. So, again, a lot of control over various aspects of the page headings. And you can switch shares on or off. And the sidebar position so this is really the best place to control page options again we can see footer options here show top and bottom footer what we refer to top and bottom footer is here okay and back to top just lets you switch off the back to top which just pushes me up the top of the page Typography is for global typography options. We can see Hind is our default Google. This is loading in Google Fonts. So again, you have a lot of control. Any, any Google Fonts you can set for your main body, secondary font. Secondary font is used in various different places here. You can see there's two fonts here. Primary and Hind is our primary font, secondary fonts here. Um, headings can be given different uh, typography if you require it. right down to widget titles. And finally, blog settings. Blog layout, grid, three columns, two columns, the position of our sidebar on the blog pages and on individual posts. And the last thing you wanna do for some basic CSS, you can use our custom CSS panel within the theme itself. If you need to do any more complicated things like custom PHP and custom JavaScript, I'd recommend any number of uh, plugins. There's one you called Code Snippets, which is very, very useful for that. And there's also a custom CSS plugin available within Jetpack if you need any more complex CSS with media queries and 
pair and selectors. So that's it. Hopefully that's been very useful to you to uh, get set up and running with success uh, quickly. Um, again, feel free to get in touch with us if you have any questions or any support issues. Thank you.